Howdy guys, how's it going? So the uh, the cool air is among us. We're getting out pretty late in the <clears throat> in the evening today. It is it's really breezy uh, tonight. We got a very good feeling. 42 degrees supposed to be rolling in. Probably you know right at 40 degrees -ish with uh, wind chill value. I got new gear with me that I've had for a little bit that uh, I've been. You know, really excited to uh, try out. Just hadn't really had an opportunity to do so yet. You probably look and seen these big, goofy uh, green stakes. These come out of a battle box, and I didn't realize how tight, or I guess I'd say how small, that channel was. But I believe I can actually uh, still use jute twine with this. Now, if I can get something this long in with the root system, that's yet to be seen. And then I just got my the smaller of my two 6 a.m. outdoor tarps. And I come back, this is a location, you know, we've, we've done a couple camps here, but this is one of the only spots that I know of, like this section of woodland uh, is one of the only places I know that's kind of this young of growth uh, that helps kind of shield wind and don't, you don't have to worry about uh, deadfalls that much. Like, I mean, there's lots of potential for deadfalls and stuff and I didn't want to have to deal with cutting or clearing out any like new spot further on out so I just come back to this when tried and true new gear uh you know sometimes it's better to just stick with a, a spot that is reliable so okay so I'm gonna start just by pegging out the two bottom corners. I got that. So I thought I had a rock around here, but uh, this stomp of the men works too. There's a part of me that's even thinking about doing a bit of an A-frame, but that's not that interesting. Please drop the side back down if you need to. Okay, I didn't hit the record button, but this right here is the only stake that we're uh, actually going to have to use the jute twine and wrap it through. But those notches seem to be holding that just fine, so we'll just have to see how it holds up in the wind. So now, our bivy bag and our sleeping pad are both new for tonight. And so this is called the Hideout Thermo, and it's made by a company called Bushman travel gear and this is a company uh that is based in poland believe it or not so this stuff came all the way across from there and i mean this thing right here is really unique and it's probably one of the most versatile shelter systems that i've ever seen this can be a bivy uh, a poncho like a bivy with a bug net a poncho with a bug face covering you can just wear it as a regular poncho this one is a thermo because it <clears throat> reflected inside for uh you know it's perfect for fall and winter the only thing about this is it's probably going to have you know more condensation than like your gore-tex um, or things things like that um now once it gets into the colder months you can take and sleep uh without even using the bug net and you know with your face out of your bag other than just what little bit of condensation would come from your body your feet just thought it was really cool it's a phenomenal concept and it's got these little bungee do jigs with it in the bag that can come in handy for a variety of things. Like I just, I really do like, this is not a paid product placement by any means, but you should check the link out in the description because it's just something neat to look into. Got to figure out where those bungees are because I do not want to lose them. 
And I'm talking a little bit fast because it will get dark on us before you know it. But there is the reflective material. You got some inside pockets if you want to put, you know, your cell phone headlamp. And then what we will still be using tonight, because even though it's getting low and the bugs will be moving slow, we need our, ba our uh, bug net. And so this is a hood that is removable. So if you just wanted to use this as a sleeping bag cover, you can do so as well. And it's just got these little button snaps. Then you've got a wire supported bug net and it zips in to the front side here. I can push that in right now, but here's those bungees. I forget what the company calls them. They call them something else, but these can be really handy if you're using it as a poncho or you can use this as an under quilt and actually uh, like cinch up the ends like we did with the wooby, but uh, pull the ends tight and you don't have to worry about any cross breeze coming long ways. Ouch. They're inflatable sleeping pad. It's going to be really hard to, uh, this is the Fit 800 one, which would be a, is a great winter mat. So they give you a Velcro strap. Okay, so this mat, since it is foam, it is slightly, you know, self-inflating, so it'll take air in there, but you will have to inflate, inflate the rest of it, either with a pump or by mouth, and uh, I forgot my pump, so. And I like the fact that our valve is up at the head area. Some bags, I mean, some uh, pads put the valve at the bottom, and then it's very difficult to, uh, you know, add air later on if you need to, so. You push this thing all the way down to the end. Like, you, you actually have enough room at the very bottom to where you could store uh, important gear or anything you need. And it looks like you can still use a pretty hefty sized sleeping bag. This is my Zoo Believes pillow. And we got the, uh, the zip up weeby that I got from Army Surplus World. We don't lose our storage bag there. So I am going to have a pre-meal snack, and uh, if you like beef jerky, highly recommend trying this out. The name of this company has one of the best uh, meat stick names that I could think of, which is Fatty. Um, and, you know, it's pretty self-explanatory, but they are some uh, hefty, hefty beef sticks. So, yeah, this is the uh, original flavor. I've tried the original and the Honey Barbecue. Both are very good. Uh, so far, I'm a fan of the original. Uh, they also have a jalapeno, and that is the next on the try list. But I got this, and some uh, like hearty chicken noodle soup with vegetables. Very nice. Okay, just keeping it real easy and simple. Uh, with the main meal because I actually eat a bit of a heavy hearty deal before I come out. But just the old trusty cubic alcohol stove and got the vault can canteen and we'll use our canteen cup. I believe this large can of soup will fit
Oh, I just want to go ahead and hop on this this exact moment because the wind is uh, died down a little bit, but I know it'll be back up once the sun goes down. I'm just worried about how it's going to be to start this thing with it being this breezy. I found that pouring just a little bit around the edges really, really helps get things going quicker. There you go, it's almost a full canteen cup's worth. Looks like we level our spot out good. We will need a pair of leather gloves because this thing will start getting back there on the handles. She's a bubbling, and that's kind of perfect timing because the wind just decided to kick back up. As much as I use this alcohol stove, I do need to get me like a titanium uh, windscreen to put around it. I mean, like here pretty soon with cold weather, we will be, uh, we'll be, you know, building a fire pretty much every single time we're out. This is just, this little stove, as light as it is and stuff, is just still really convenient for like warming up a can of soup. Or making a cup of coffee or a cup of tea. But there we go. We'll set that there. Keep well, guys, I mean, there's nothing really to elaborate on with this meal. It's just that good old fashioned uh, chicken noodle soup. So, unless uh, there's any major updates, I'm just going to chill out. We probably got. We got about 45 minutes till it gets dark. So I'm just going to chill out. That was almost perfect timing too. With I'm getting better at, at how much alcohol I'm supposed to put in that thing for it to uh, accomplish whatever it is I'm trying to heat up or warm or cook. So I'll be back with y'all whenever it's time. Hit the hay. It's going to be a cool one for sure. Uh, now, if you're wondering, uh, anytime I found like last year, I love this old skin hat. It's collapsible, it's packable, it's perfect. Uh, during the day, but you know, you can't really wear a hood uh, with this type and this style of hat and also it's just a lot more comfortable to uh, have a brimmed hat whenever you're uh, wearing a headlamp. So that is why I've brought two hats and I can tell you one thing, the tent has dropped quite a bit. can't quite see your breath. So I brought a hoodie with me. It's got like a broke down MRE on it, or it's got like the instructions for MRE on it. I thought that was pretty cool. So between this thicker flannel, this hoodie, and our wooby, and the fact that the inside of that bivy is thermal, or has that reflective material, should be dandy.
That deer is not happy that I'm here. It is time to hit the hay where I pitched this so low, I'm hoping that that right there ain't a horrible angle. The sleeping pad's staying pumped up great. I've got that sit mat I could sit on or set my boots on, but I've not seen any insects crawling around, not even any granddaddy long legs, which for this area is saying something. new setup for me so we'll have to play around with it a little bit here we're gonna need to go ahead and slip inside our woozy blanket So bug netting's good, then we just cinch this down. Right there, ain't too shabby. I do, I can already tell though, this is gonna be just like with my other bivy. It's gonna be better to have the sleeping pad on the outside, but I know I can tell with this one uh, that I would I would just take and slide right down off of it. So this is the configuration that we're gonna go with for now. But the mesh wire and everything seems to uh, do its job just fine. So if we just keep our head breathing out of the mesh and stuff, hopefully the condensation ain't that bad. But I'll report back to y'all with that in the morning. So till then, guys, good night. Oh, good morning guys <clears throat> well I will say that it is quite a bit uh, colder this morning than I expected um, I'm actually with the temp <clears throat> with the temperature what it is I'm really uh, surprised at how well the the wooby done in conjunction with this uh, reflective bivy bag definitely got a bit of a, a bit of a chill going so it is it is now officially that time of year to start whipping out the uh the, the queen size wool blankets and the cold weather sleeping bags and probably potentially retire the woobies for a bit <clears throat> uh the bag actually <clears throat> didn't have nearly as much condensation i got like i got a piece so i just left the bug net off because there's nothing there's no insects moving about right now sleeping pad also done great you know this 800 feel sleeping pad there's no no worry about uh anything coming up from the ground really not until you get into a much much colder situation tarp still doing good so you might be able to see a little bit of that condensation but with that being reflective i'm not sure and then after i took and uh went back down i just took my shemag and 
put it over my face. That kind of helps control the condensation and then keeps your face warm. Yeah, as soon as you take and like remove this reflective way and crawl out of the crawl out of this, like, that cold does hit you a bit. But <clears throat> I'm all about the cold. So this morning I'm going to be trying, this right here is an instant coffee mix. It comes inside uh, one of the latest battle box called Alpine Start. So after that gets going, we'll try this bad boy. Just wait for it to cool down a little bit. Got most everything packed up except for the tarp and then this chair and that. I'm really excited. I'm glad that the uh, the cold weather has finally uh, finally started to really roll in on us. Uh, luckily, considering that we had the arrangement that we did last night, uh, it ended up not being windy, which you know, based off the weather and everything else kind of surprised me but if it did get too breezy probably would have had to take and lower these corners down into more of a a-frame configuration to block the wind <clears throat> the alpine coffee is not bad at all for i mean to be instant coffee but yeah guys that's going to do it for this one as always really appreciate you taking the time to watch the video please hit that thumbs up button subscribe if you had not already share the channel and the videos with your friends family Anybody that enjoys good old outdoor activities. I already have a bunch of content planned, uh, but please hit me up in that comment section with thoughts, suggestions, any of that good old stuff, or, you know, questions. And, uh, yeah, until the next one, guys. Adios.